APQP is Advanced Product Quality Planning. It's a document that was born out of the auto industry for the necessity to have a process to go through the product planning cycles methodically with gates along the way to ensure that all of the items that we need to address early on in the process are addressed so that we don't have to have changes later on in that process and to make sure that we have great sound quality systems in place to protect the customers so that we get great quality products out of the end of our processes uh, from our suppliers and uh, increase our customer satisfaction uh, to those people that are actually buying our vehicles. So why does AQP need to be updated? It's 16 years old. We've got a lot that's transpired over those 16 years. We've got a lot of new technology. We've got new suppliers coming in, autonomous driving, EV vehicles, software. All of those things combined made sense for us to take that document out, dust it off, and give it a refresh. We took the control plan and made the control plan a standalone document because we wanted to have flexibility to make quicker updates to it. The control plan itself is the document that we use to make sure that the process is being followed and we don't have escapes and mistakes get out to our customers. Um, having the control plan in the APQP manual, uh, it may have taken us longer to make updates. So now we have greater flexibility as we learn more and we have new technologies that come to us to quickly inject those into the control plan document itself. It should be used on all of our tier ones. Our tier ones should trickle that information down into their sub-tiers and, and so forth. I can't speak for everybody, but from a General Motors standpoint, we're looking to have them implement this six months after the documents are published. But if it makes sense for the suppliers to adopt early, that won't be an issue either. We only see these as continue value added documents from where they stand today.